welcome back everybody to another review. Today we have Mario Kart Double Dash, the Nintendo GameCube. For everyone who hasn't seen my co-op gameplay of Double Dash, I'll leave the link in the description down below. I'll be using my five point system as always. One point for gameplay, second would be for modes, three will be for how the game looks, four will be for music, and five replayability. I will be comparing this game to today's standards. This game was a personal favorite of mine growing up, so I'll definitely try not to be biased when I do my final verdict. And of course, this is all just my opinion. So, without further ado, let's get started. Mario Kart is a racing game developed by Nintendo, released in November 2003. First point is for gameplay. Mario Kart Double Dash has outstanding gameplay with its instant action, with the variety of lovable characters, and an amazing item pool. Each character has its own special item that was unique to that character. For example, Donkey Kong uses a big banana, Mario shooting fireballs, even Bowser would throw his massive spike shell, and many more. This was paired with the fact that you could choose two characters on one cart. This meant mixing and matching characters were half the fun to this game. You could have Mario and Luigi pair up, or switch it up and have Mario with Bowser. Crazy, right? There was just seemingly endless choices of character combos that you could do. The game took it a step further though and had each character have its own personal cart. Each cart had different stats from weight, top speed, acceleration, and handling. This meant choosing a smaller character would give you access to all the lighter cars, not just your own. If you choose a big character like Bowser, you'd have to use a big cart. This meant choosing certain characters would grant you access to certain carts. This just left us with so many options when playing the game. Gameplay is easy to learn with steering with the control stick, holding A for acceleration, X and Y to throw items, R and L to drift. With these buttons and a little practice, you'll be beating your friends in no time. First point has to go to Double Dash for its endless options and character selection and easy to learn gameplay. Second point is for modes. Double Dash has up to four player multiplayer on races and even a battle mode with its own unique maps. And of course there's time trial. You could even team up with a friend and both of you ride on one cart. This meant playing with friends was even funner as you could have one person drive and the other one throw items. You even have the ability to switch positions during a race. This is extremely fun and very clever by Mario Kart to have thought of such an idea. This was the first and only Mario Kart where you could drive on the same cart together. I think that's why this game was a must have at every gaming party. Battle mode had a few differences as well. There was Shine Thief. In Shine Thief, players must retrieve a Shine Sprite dropped on the course and keep it in hand until the time runs out. There was also Bomb Bomb Blast, where you would throw only bombs at each other until you reach the target score. And of course, there's Classic Battle Mode, where you have three balloons and throw items at each other until you're the last one standing. Last mode, Time Trial, was an easy way to test your skills against yourself. You would only have three mushrooms through the whole race trying to beat you or your friend's time. This was good for practicing for there's no other drivers except you on the road, so it's all yours. Second point has to go to Double Dash for its amazing and creative modes that just wants you keep playing more. Third point is for how the game looks. This game just keeps surprising me. Even after 18 years, this game still looks fantastic. The colors of each map really make you feel like you're there. Even the textures of the characters are just notably just as good as a Mario Kart game nowadays. The graphics of the items are also add so much to the game. Nothing more terrifying than a blue shell coming right for you to ruin your race. Even the boosting in this game makes you feel like you're flying down the track. I literally can't find one bad thing to say about how the game looks. Mario Kart 100% gets the third point. Fourth point is on music. 
No surprise, Mario Kart doesn't disappoint. Every track has its own unique racing music. They composed up to 50 minutes of pure gold Mario Kart music. It makes you happy to hear it. At the same time, it makes you want to hurry up and go faster. I still have Mushroom City music stuck in my head from weeks ago. Also want to point out all the voice lines that the characters have. This added so much life to the game by making you feel like you were one of them. Nothing feels better than being ahead and hearing your partner cheer as you hit them with an item from behind. Fourth point is also yours, Mario Kart, with your fantastic soundtrack and lovable sounds. Could Mario Kart Double Dash be our first 5 out of 5 on the channel? By this point, I'm sure you know the answer. Fifth point is replayability. The replayability on this game is endless. You can pick up this game in another 20 years and it would still be a blast to play with friends or even by yourself. There's just so many options when it comes to characters and carts that every time you play feels like a brand new game again. There's only 18 races, but even those 18 play completely different on mirror mode. If they had more maps, of course it would add to the game's replayability. But these 18 races are all memorable and will be loved for years to come. So, there you have it. Mario Kart Double Dash is our first 5 out of 5. This game will forever go down as one of the best Mario Kart games ever made. If this game was released today with an online mode and new maps, this game would be one of the world's best racing games on top of that. The fact that you could have two people on one cart was just groundbreaking at the time. And I have to give props for its endless options with character combinations and carts. Just added so much to the replayability. It's pretty outstanding that this game came out in 2003. I would recommend this game to anyone who hasn't played it, and it only gets better if you play it with friends. Thanks everybody for watching. If you want to check out some Double Dash gameplay, it will be in the description down below. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if, if you want daily videos. Thanks everybody, I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.